All right, now we're going to roll out our mesh, our woven fiberglass, and we're gonna cut it. Hey YouTube, this is Jay Antique Customs. I'm Jay. I'm T. And how are you doing? <laughs> Sorry for the mess. We are trying to get this done. So we're kind of like working around the mess here. Mix it until the pink is gone, and you have a nice whiskey color. No pink, whiskey. Like that. Okay. Now if it turns milky, that's because it's starting to heat up and cook. So you do have some time, but you don't have a lot of time. Now you should wear gloves and a mask, respirator, all of that good stuff. Why am I not? Because I have plenty of ventilation. Doesn't mean I shouldn't. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just getting the setting the cardboard so the mesh sticks to it. Now what I want to do is I want to get the, just the outer edge of the mesh also wet. I don't need to hold it down, I just need it to drape over. That's all. Because on the first layer, I'm going to cut all of that off. Okay, like that. Now I'm just going to do the rest of it. And it looks like T is back from shopping. What'd you get, T? Polish. Where's YouTube? Polish. Oh, they're over there. Hi, YouTube. Got some stuff. I got some stuff. Oh, I got these for you. Okay, cool. Got some stuff. All right.
Okay, uh, YouTube, we'll be back. We'll be back, YouTube. Okay, it's the next day. It's the next day, and let's see how we made out. Let's see what happened, folks. <clears throat> okay, so this is very light, because it's only got one coat of stuff on it. Okay, it is still very, slightly tacky. Okay, but I'm not going to worry about that, because we're going to put more fiberglass on top of it. But the first thing I want to do is I want to cut this down. So I want to cut all my excess pieces off. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is only the first coat. We're gonna do two coats of fiberglass and then we're gonna do a coat of resin by itself. And it's gonna end up looking like the front diffuser, which I'll show you in just a sec. the right way to do this maybe maybe not you don't see what other people do when they're not uh, videotaping so you don't get to see people do this I'm here to show you everything all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this with this piece like this okay put the bottom like so this out here I don't care about because this is underneath the car so it doesn't have to be perfect all right this doesn't have to be perfect either but we're gonna make it pretty close because this is in between the tailpipes so what I'll do is I'm just gonna cut this off just a little bit here Save the fiberglass for later. And then uh, just go like that, roll over, like that. And then that will get fiberglass just like that. Hey T, good morning. <coughs> T finished breakfast and now he's out here. Yep. Gotta, so, feed, the, gotta feed the people, right? Right. <laughs> So it's telling me to, this is what's gonna happen now. So we're doing the bottom here, and then this is gonna get rolled over here like this. And then once this dries, then we'll redo this side here with all the excess stuff like that. And then this will be ready to, Pretty much done. almost, but that'll be the first layer that's done. So what I also wanna show this is the rear diffuser. Let's take that. Now this is our front diffuser. Okay, and again, this is cardboard. Same like that. Okay, but this is a piece of cardboard. So now what I have to get done is this has to just get sanded with the DA. Okay, and then the front has to be sanded by hand, just a little shh. Then this is ready to get painted, and then we're going to drill holes in it, and drill holes in the bumper, and then it's going to be uh, attached to the bumper. So this is just about done. So, that's the next step for this. I'm going to put this aside now, and so we can finish our rear
Okay, I know that looks pretty hideous, but not to worry. All of that is going to get, we're going to smooth that all out. Then we'll put our another coat on of uh, the molding, and it'll end up looking like the punch diffuser. And once we get the punch diffuser, we're going to sand that down, and that'll be ready to paint. We'll see. All right, so as you do this, don't panic. You go, oh, this looks like crap. What up? Don't worry. You'll be able to fix it. Okay? All right. You let that soak, let it harden, and we'll be back.